Hey, my name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. Today I'm going to show you about dependency scanning and how it can work for you. Now let's get started. In today's world, it is likely that we are using lots of different open source libraries to supplement our code. Some of these libraries can contain security vulnerabilities. This is where dependency scanning comes into play, helping you find and resolve these vulnerabilities. Dependency scanning can be integrated into the pipeline. A good way to set up the pipeline is to include all security scans after the build stage which includes dependency scanning. That way we know that the container can build and we run a static set of tests before deploying to a staging environment. The dependency scanning results are integrated into the merge request. In this merge request, 11 new vulnerabilities were discovered. When clicking on a vulnerability, you can get more detailed information. The information contains links to the CVE which shows how the vulnerability affects your system. It also displays the severity of the vulnerability and how to resolve it. Using this information, a developer can push a fix to the same branch as this merge request, and then the scans will rerun, enhancing security before moving on in the pipeline. Dependency scanning provides a dependency list based off the master branch. This makes it easy for the security team to see which vulnerabilities are still active. Merge requests can also contain a list of approvers for vulnerability issues. If a vulnerability with high, critical, or unknown severity is found, someone from this group will be required to approve a merge request before any changes can be committed. Members of this group would usually be members of the security team but can differ based on your organization. In order to add merge request approvals, you can go to the project settings and see the merge request approval section. Here's where a group of approvers can be added to the vulnerability check. This can be done using the add approval rule button Make sure that the rule name input is vulnerability check case sensitive as seen here. Different rules can also be set up for merge request approvals, such as preventing the author from merging as well as those who have been contributing code to the merge request. In order to enable dependency scanning, all you need to do is add the dependency scanning template to the ci.yaml file. Here's a few things we've learned about dependency scanning. To keep up to date, check out about.gitlab.com. Be sure to subscribe. Here at GitLab, everyone can contribute.